Hey Bikes, I'm Kylie, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Aspen, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Lane, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Augie Chappas, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Sophie, and this is your Monday Report. The Spring ACT Prep class is set for Thursday, February 13th. The deadline to register is this Thursday. Forms are available in the front office. Autumn caught up with Miss Aliker for Counselor's Couch. Hey Bikes, we're here with Miss Aliker for another edition of Counselor's Couch. My name is Autumn. Could you tell us some more information? Sure. Hey, welcome back to school after a nice weekend, a nice win. So just to let you know, this week during CALP time, we have the Air Force will be here on Tuesday. Wednesday, the Army will be here during lunch and CALP time. Thursday, we have the Kansas National Guard here during lunch. And then Friday, during CALP time, the National Guard will be here. Mrs. Ross wanted me to let you know that there was a bunch of new scholarships added onto Schoology. She also told me that there are going to be more next week. So please make sure you check that out and understand that you have a shortened week next week. Plenty of time to get those done. Lastly, we have enrollment. So during Cal time, you'll have somebody coming in talking to you about enrollment. This is happening this week. Juniors, you will enroll today. Sophomores, Tuesday and freshmen on Wednesday. The enrollment window will open sometime next week on power school and everybody needs to be enrolled by thursday the 26th that's happening okay thank you miss alaker bikes make sure you get enrolled make sure to check that out today is the deadline to turn in any audition forms for anyone interested in being a part of this year's viking variety show and tonight at 7 p.m seaman players are putting on a show Entrance fee is just a small donation to the theater department. Tomorrow there will be a key club meeting at 725 in the library. And an art club drawing night is in room 901 from 6 to 730 p.m. Now back to sports after this quick commercial break. Soldier Boy Tell. Soldier Boy Finney. Why me quacking? Snowball. The Seaman wrestling team had several people place in the tournament this weekend. Good job, Bikes. If you are interested in trying out for the cheer team, there will be an informational meeting this Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the library. There will also be an informational meeting on Thursday, February 6th during CALP in room 911 for any girls interested in the girls' swim team. Now, let's go to Josh to find out when it's going to snow again. Good afternoon. What a day we had yesterday. First, let's talk about the weather we had because the low was just 29 degrees in the morning. So it was a cold start to the day. But as we went into the afternoon, afternoon we saw a big warm up up to 72 degrees. That's a 43 degree jump from the morning low. And 72 degrees ties our record high for that date, and it's the warmest that we've been since November 9th. That's nearly three months ago. So hope you got outside and enjoyed the weather before the Super Bowl last night. Now today, we're going in the wrong direction. We started out mild this morning, and we will get a little bit warmer, up to 53, but then falling temperatures throughout the remainder of the afternoon. We'll be on our way down to 40 degrees tonight by 7 o'clock, and clouds will be thickening up as well ahead of our next storm system, which is set to arrive 
later tomorrow. So here's how it looks with our future radar by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can see we have some light snow and maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation. This could be in the form of freezing drizzle or sleet. So watch out. There could be some slick spots on the roadways as early as tomorrow morning. It's not a lot of precipitation, but it doesn't take a lot to make things slick. Now, by tomorrow afternoon, this should transition to a light snow. It's not going to be snowing the entire day, but periods of light snow and snow showers will continue throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours before that pushes down to the southeast. So this event looks to be a low to medium impact one with a trace to two inches of accumulation expected and there could be a small glaze of ice as well for your Tuesday. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. A big cool down for tomorrow. Highs only 30 and that continues on Wednesday. But we do start to dry out and warm up by next weekend. Highs returning to the 40s with a mostly sunny sky for both Saturday and Sunday. Now Kylie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Make sure to go respond to the YOLO up on our Snapchat. Have a good day.